Energy transforms lives. It permits economic activity, improves health and well-being, and helps lift people out of poverty. As populations increase and the need to address climate change becomes more pressing, the world is increasingly looking for an energy policy that is both sustainable and inclusive. How do we achieve it? Three major events this year look set to shape the agenda. The Financing for Development Conference in Addis Ababa in July, the Sustainable Development Goals Summit in New York in September, and the Climate Change Summit in Paris in December. In the run-up to the events, the Vienna Energy Forum 2015 brought together hundreds of thought leaders, policymakers, and energy practitioners to discuss the challenges and explore key areas to tackle. This forum is taking place at the defining moment for the humanity as in terms of the paving the way towards the sustainable development. Delegates agree that energy systems need to be overhauled to support a sustainable future. They need to be affordable, reliable and environmentally sound. Energy efficiency and renewable sources of energy must be promoted more effectively and carbon footprints reduced. And cleaner production abilities must be advanced. The REN21 report, which was released at the forum, suggests we're heading in the right direction, but much more needs to be done. I think the Renewables 2015 Global Status Report uh, nicely demonstrates that there was a lot of progress, a uh, record year of investment in renewables in 2014. However, it also clearly documents that uh, further progress is needed in order to get us uh, to reaching the objective of doubling the share of renewables by 2030. More progress in the heating and cooling and in the transport sector is needed. The aim of this conference is to set a framework that will help build greater shared prosperity for the benefit of all people and the planet. It's a big challenge. Delegates accept that renewables will play an important role. I am optimistic uh, not only because renewables are becoming cheaper and cheaper day by day, but also that there is a political will coming very strong to, to send a clear political signal that a fossil fuel-based energy system needs to be phased out. There is a lot of potential. In Central America is blessed by the weather. I mean, we have great places, you know, where we have uh, very high solar intensity. So by, for, for a square meter. So it's, a, it's, it's great for solar generation, for example. Now we have an ambitious plan for the development. That ambitious plan will not be uh, successful by using a conventional way of uh, doing a business. So we have to reduce the emission when we develop the economy. Support from organisations like UNIDO, core organisers of the conference, helps countries kick-start their renewable programmes, providing energy for productive activities. I think for industrialisation to really happen, there are a few fundamental pillars. And if you ask me to name the number one pillar, I would say the energy. Without sustainable energy, there won't be industrialization. If there won't be industrialization, there won't be jobs. So at the end of the day, if we want jobs, if we want to help Africa, the people to escape poverty, we need energy because this is the number one fundamental pillar we really need to support the sustainable industrialization. I think the forum is in itself a reflection of the interest that has been generated in energy as an important economic and necessary service for people. 
and you can see it in terms of the number of participants, you can see it in terms of the kinds of experiences that are being shared. I met a lot of colleagues who I share with them uh, a lot of insights and uh, it's, it's very useful to, to see them and to meet them and to know what's going on. I mean, it's, you have to be involved, you, you need to know what's going on um, all over the world and I think it's, it's the right place. As attention now turns towards the upcoming summits and the adoption of a new set of sustainable development goals, this conference has made sure that sustainable energy has been set at the heart of the agenda.